Good. So we're going to talk a little bit about the thermostat here today. Um, in every house, pretty much, right? That's we right. hope. Uh, the one nice thing about the thermostats that we install now are they're digital thermostats. What, what does that mean? Basically what it means is it gives you a nice digital readout so you can see exactly what the temperature is and what the temperature is set at. So you know if it's running, you know if it's cooling, if it's heating, it's on, off, things like that. These, uh, these things can be quite complicated though, huh? Yeah, they can be a little complicated. They all come with an owner's manual because the one nice feature about these is that they save a lot of energy because you can program them to days that you're home, days that you're not home, so it's not the same temperature all the time. Yeah, I mean, one of the significant things about the digital thermostat is the programmability in it, and that you can actually turn, tell it to turn on, go to a certain temperature at a certain time of the day. One of the things you might want to do is, you know, at 7.30 in the morning, tell it to come on, come up to a certain temperature, and turn off at uh, 8.45 when the kids get on the bus and everybody's gone. Exactly. Right, and vice versa, at night, you can turn it to shut it down. I mean, I know in my house, um, I don't have a digital thermostat right now, but we have to do this stuff manually before we go to bed. I kind of turn it down, but it'd, it'd be really nice to have something as nice as this one in our house. That's right, fully automatic to whatever you need it to do. So I see this uh, this button here on here about fan. It's on either auto or on. What's what's uh, what's the fan about? What is that? Well, the fan. Some people like to keep the fan on continuous circulation, keep the air moving throughout the house. Uh, this one says auto, so it's only going to be on when it needs to come on when it's actually blowing heat or blowing cool air. Um, and then also it has a cooling button, you can switch it to cool too. Yeah, sometimes, and we tell people often too, I mean this one's set to auto, we do tell people to leave it on continuously because that does have a tendency to naturally sort of dehumidify the house a lot of times. It's not a bad idea for air circulation, just changeover of the air inside the house on a constant basis just to keep the fan going. That's correct. Great. Well, um, other than reading the, uh, the owner's manual, there's really not a ton involved in this thermostat, right? Is there, is there anything inside the thermostat that uh, could, uh, could cause a maintenance problem? It would be a backup battery in the thermostat that you want to check. So if the power ever goes out, the thermostat will operate. Correct. Well, let's, let's pull it apart and see what it looks like. Yeah, that's, uh, there's the two batteries right there, two AA batteries, and that's obviously in the event of what? Loss of, loss of power? Loss of power, that's right. Yeah, I wonder, um, I wonder how often these batteries need to be changed. I think it would be a good idea to change those once a year. Probably about the same time you do smoke alarms, exactly, huh? Exactly, that's right. Yeah, that's, uh, that's sort of a holiday tradition in our house. That's right. Great. Well, um, anything else we need to know about the uh, the thermostat? No, that's about it. Great. Well, thanks.